I've been wanting to show you guys my full silver collection, and I know this is an interesting storage method here, but I do have some silver in each of the drawers, so I thought it could be cool to go through that. And then I do have a little display piece as well. So this is all my fractional silver bullion. This is 21 gram rounds and 10 one tenth ounce rounds in here that I got from Pit Bullion, I believe, back in 2020. And I will admit to you guys right now, this is not some massive, impressive collection by any means. This is just stuff that I was able to kind of hold on to over time. And these are actually really tiny gold bars. The only reason I got them is because it's a pretty much full sequential set. Almost all of them are like in, a, in order in terms of their serial number. And yeah, because here you go. You can see, I'll try to spread them out real quick. I have a bunch of the same numbers, like 07... Three, you see that like one through six so I have uh, six of them that are sequential and then another one as well and the reason I picked them up though is because these actually do have some value believe it or not just because the black hand bullion is a pretty rare thing to find you don't usually see them for sale on eBay and I thought it was a really unique thing as well something for my collection now in the next drawer I'm trying to remember how these are ordered I think this is more of just like the miscellaneous kind of fractional bullion so you got like a half ounce round there, and I think that's a quarter ounce eagle, I want to say, but maybe, I think, let me see. Yeah, quarter ounce eagle. Got a couple half ounce eagles. Got a couple more quarter ounce coins. So just some more fractional silver bullion. Nothing to write home about. Now, I'm not sure if everything is silver. I think I have, uh, I think actually these coins should be, some of them should be silver. These are some old foreign coins. I know these are silver. These coins right here, they contain a certain percentage of silver. And then I got this old coin. And these are pretty cool. I got a couple of, uh, these are not silver, but these are old sample slabs. One of them I actually won in the giveaway from NGC on Instagram. And I still have that post like saved and bookmarked on my one account just to, uh, if I ever want to go back to it to check it out. The other one I got from a guy on eBay because I wanted to try and collect some more of them. And I noticed other people for some reason were trying to corner the market. So maybe kind of intrigued to like see if I could try to collect more of them. I haven't really been trying ever since, but I figured two of them is better than one. And I got some, uh, some cool bullion here. Got a few different, uh, themed things here. These are all like, uh, some uh, Queen Elizabeth coins with really cool designs on the back, I believe. Yeah. So that's why they are together in there. And then uh, got, let's see, the next drawer. I've got just an American Silver Eagle. And then this should be another one as well. It wants to pop out. It's kind of hard to do this like one handed. I'm not the best. There we go. This is a 2007, but this is a W. And it's burnished, I believe, as well. I, th I think, maybe not, but I'm pretty sure it had, like, a different strike type. Pretty nice coin, though. Or, I think it's proof, actually. But, uh, in the bottom here... Ah, uh, this is a pain in the butt sometimes to get these drawers there. Because now this is all loose, of course. But in the bottom drawer, I actually have all of my, like, certificates of authenticity. And some of these go for the stuff that's in here that I'm about to show you guys. In fact, most of them do, actually. Because I have my nicer pieces on display kind of together in this box. And some of these are pretty core, uh, core, excuse me, cool, because they're actually different pieces from the community. Now, these uh, are actually bills that I found, and the cool thing about them was, like, this one had a decent serial number, that one kind of had a decent serial number, and then these ones were, like, sequential notes, and two of them happened to be trinaries, where, like, there's only three different numbers. You got three, six, and eight on two of them. Those are the only numbers there, and it was cool to have them in order and be pretty crisp bills, because they're actually from 2017. And then, of course, I got my actual little collection of silver down here. Now, these pieces up here, these are all pieces that were made from people in the community who have grown to a pretty substantial following now. But at the time, these were some of the first pieces they ever made. So you got, like, right here, uh, JP Boolean. And you've got uh, MK Bars and Boolean in there. So, and I think both of these bars are from uh, the same person right here. But I thought that was really cool. I've got the full uh, symbols of liter, uh, yeah, symbols of literacy. That's uh, what I don't have. The full symbols of liter, uh, liberty. My God, that was a really big struggle. Big L for me. But it is a really cool set, and they're actually a little bit over announced. And also, the coins are really well detailed as well. I think that they're really, really cool. I don't have anything quite that awesome in terms of the detail. Besides maybe this. This is another really awesome thing right here. This is actually something that a family member got for me. It was my mom, I believe. Yeah. She got that a little while back for me because it was uh, for, I think it was for her birthday or something. And she thought it was really cool. And I was like, yeah, this is a really nice round. And then this is um, like an anime bar down here. I don't know. I think that one might be also MK Bars and Boolean. Then I've got the full Reckless Metals uh, bar set. So there's the regular 
the proof and the burnished finish on it, kind of like how uh, some American Eagles will be. I've got another fractional around here. I just thought this one looked cooler, so that's why I put it in here. I've got also a Geiger fractional uh, little silver square there, which is really nice. Actually, no, I think it's one full ounce. Yeah, never mind. I just assumed it was fractional. I've got this really awesome one ounce bar, though. <laughs> I'm touching the wrong thing. Uh, right here, because you can see only 100 of them were made. The guy sold out pretty much instantly when they went up on his website, and I was able to get it from someone in the community who was able to really hook me up, so greatly appreciate them. I've got this MS-70, but you can see the Eagle has a bit of toning on it, and I think it's also milk spots, so it's definitely not MS-70 anymore. But it is still pretty cool because it's an actual coin you can see from 1986, so that's a pretty, pretty nice thing to have. This coin I really like because it was a pretty unique piece, uh, the Desert Scorpion, and something like from my childhood is kind of associated with scorpions, so I always thought that that was really cool to see, and it just kind of reminded me of that as well. And then this is actually a silver horseshoe. I do have a special box for it and everything. I'm not going to pull that out this second, just because I'd have to go and I mean, I really, really wouldn't have to dig it out. That's a lie. I just don't feel like doing it. I'm being lazy. But I thought this was really cool because it's actually a certified horseshoe that technically counts as a coin, I guess, because of the coin on the back. And overall, I thought this was a nice little set. Like I said, these pieces you really cannot get anymore. These are unique, one-of-one -one pieces made by people who became prominent in the community. And then having, like, some drawers of silver over there, it's my collection. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace.